Hello, my name is Martha Coda, and I'm doing strength and conditioning for my first project for Sports Med 3. I worked with Sophia Aguilar, a tennis player, on an upper extremity strength and conditioning program. Sophia has been playing tennis for two years, and the goal of the program is to build endurance, strength, and grip strength. For the warm up, we did arm circles, cross body shoulder swings, alternating chest hugs, and routine shoulder shrugs. The demonstrations aren't demonstrated on the slides because they are pretty self-explanatory. However, this is the wrist extensor stretch we did and the wrist flexor. You will do two sets of 15 seconds for each exercise. Doing a warm-up before the program will decrease the risk of injury and will activate nerves and muscles which will improve mobility. Now for my program, there isn't enough space on the slides to show every exercise. However, this is shoulder flexion. Wrist flexion. Shoulder external rotation. Radio deviation. finger flexion, and the disc and the grippers are interchangeable depending on what the athlete's comfortable with. Wrist extension, and pronation. You will do three sets of 15 repetitions for each exercise with a resistance band. The resistance band will make the program more accessible because the materials are easily transportable and, inter and interchangeable to increase or decrease difficulty. The program should be completed two to three times per week. Sophia did the program on Fridays and Sundays because those are two out of the three days she has off in the week. It is important to adjust the program to each athlete because some exercises may be too easy or difficult. In order for exercises to build strength and endurance, the perfect zone of repetitions would be between 12 to 15. The difficulty of each exercise should be in the Goldilocks zone, where the difficulty should be a 3 in a range between 1 and 5. We want to work the muscles but not cause fatigue. Therefore, if the athlete is feeling soreness the next day, the reps should be adjusted. On multiple occasions, I asked Sophia what the difficulty of each exercise were, and some days it was fine, but other days she would only do one set if she was already tired from tennis because it was what was comfortable for her. We collected the results of the program using a speed gun. We did three serves to find an average before and after. She served at an average of 29.3 miles per hour before we implemented the program and 46.6 miles per hour after. It was an increase of 17.3. Some of the results may be off because the speed gun malfunctions quite a bit and Sophia's in the middle for season, therefore tiredness and soreness from practice and games has contributed to the results collected. We utilized a dynamometer to measure hand force. We did three tests on each hand before and after. We found an average of 35 on her right and 32 on her left before, and an average of 36.6 on her right and 31.6 on her left. There was a, an increase of 1.6 on her right and a decrease of 0.4 on her left. Sophia will not be continuing most of the program because it requires a lot of accountability to do two to three times a week. It's not convenient, especially in such a stressful time like senior year. However, she will keep the finger extension and flexion exercises because they're fun fidgets. She says she noticed less tension in her wrist since implementing the program into her schedule. Thank you for listening to my presentation.